situation that happens a lot is when you're here, you stood up to pass the guard, everything kind of was working fine. You did this, but, or if you had to open the leg from the back, what happens here a lot, you lose control of this leg. So by the time you get here, yeah, he's already using his shield to, to put you in the guard. So whatever happens here, after he's opened the leg, his hip is gonna drop. So if you don't follow the drop of the hip, you're gonna have to deal with his leg. So a situation that I use, you, you can defend whatever you wanna do. Look, this is extremely common. I have his leg, I have his arm. He's gonna try to hold mine. You can't come in, cause he's pushing forward. You wanna keep uh, aware of this arm because he can jump to a triangle here very, very easily. Don't let that happen. You do the same thing. You use your hip forward to get rid of those. But here, look, push back, push back. If his legs are very, very long, the difference in size is, is great, then this might not work. You came here, did that, you push. But what is he gonna do now? Look. There's not much. Use this as a, like you're anchored to somebody. Oh. Look, one arm or the other. Try doing this because it's really, really useful. Just a person putting their feet, you're going back, get rid of the legs, get to the side. It's a good exercise. Come on, go.